So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today I thought I'd have a little bit of a talk or discussion with you guys about the underwater areas within Fallout 4. You know there's a lot of references in game that don't really make too much sense or haven't really made its way into the game just yet uh, such as giant underwater creatures, you know certain quest lines that have been found uh, to do with the water areas that haven't quite made it to the game neither and several things into one video that kind of hint or possibly hint towards possible DLC content being in the underwater areas. And as I've said before, I really enjoy kind of making these videos and having a little bit of a discussion with you guys about certain things like these, you know, certain references in game that could possibly point towards the DLC. So as always, if you do enjoy these type of videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. And I also want to quickly say as well that I should have another Fallout 4 video either coming to you guys later today or early tomorrow. So be sure to be on the lookout uh, for that video as well. Now, getting straight into this, as many of you may know by now, there is this huge underwater area in Fallout that being totally 100% honest, isn't used as much as I and a lot of people would actually like you know there's this huge underwater area uh, that takes up a lot of the map and there just isn't enough down there I mean there's certain things that I've featured on the channel before such as the message in the bottle kind of loot uh, misc objectives that you can do uh, where essentially you find these message in the bottles kind of washed upon the shore in certain locations you pick them up and it will kind of task you to find a chest hidden in the underwater areas which is pretty damn cool but at the same time there just isn't enough there's no real main quest that will take you down into any significant areas in the water areas uh, no side quests apart from the uh, here there be monsters side quest uh, where you have to go to the Yangtze submarine and you know there isn't really any special creatures or enemies down there either that you will have to fight or come across in these underwater areas and it just feels like there's this huge chunk of the map that just isn't used enough and you know that's not just coming from me that's coming from you know several people on forums that i've seen a lot of you guys out there uh, are voicing your opinion to bethesda about the water areas but there is quite a few things that have been found in game and uh, you know small references here and there that do hint to more actually being down there. One of them I did actually briefly mention uh, in another video I made, which was based on the quest line known as 20 Leagues Under the Sea, a quest that was seemingly cut from the game, but was supposed to be used with the underwater areas. I'll go into a little bit more detail on that quest line here shortly, but there's other things that are also mentioned in the game or referenced in the game to do with underwater creatures. One of those is a giant blue ghoul whale known as Ol Peg. And, you know, when it comes to Fallout 4 in general, there's all kinds of different myths and characters in the game that are specifically there to fuel the mythology of the world. In fact, I'd even go further on to say that some of the characters in the game, you know, may be similar to the ones that we've seen in Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And for those of you who don't know, there's actually certain NPC characters uh, within Fallout 3 and New Vegas that have somewhat referenced DLC areas that eventually made its way into the game. There are several locations that these NPCs talk about, and then later down the line, DLC comes out, and those areas do actually make its way into the game. So that's just another kind of thing uh, to actually think about when actually talking about you know certain NPC characters within Fallout 4. And if you actually make your way over to the Bunker Hill, and you actually speak to one of the caravan workers there, she will tell you a story of a giant blue gall whale known as Old Peg that her grandfather actually came across and when he came across it he basically ran for his life and that's when he saw the outline of the great behemoth massive bigger than anything you or I will ever see old peg a giant blue ghoul whale <laughs> a ghoul whale yeah as the fog gathered he saw that great beast emerge back into the deep and my grandpappy fled for the first and last time in his life Ask any of the old timers and they'll all agree. Something ancient and terrifying haunts the sea. Now there's a lot of theories behind this conversation with this caravan worker. One of the more logical ones is that um, what the grandfather was talking about could have been the Yanksa submarine uh, in their Here There Be Monsters side quest. For those of you who don't know, there is a submarine uh, in the water areas and that could well be the case. I mean, it seems a very logical theory. It seems like what's possibly going on here but I just don't think so. I mean, she mentions a giant blue gall whale. The Yangtze isn't really blue. 
Another quote that really stood out to me the most from this caravan worker is the fact that at the very end she does state that something ancient and terrifying haunts the sea. And I just feel that's too strong of a dialogue just to be pointing towards the Yangtze alone. I mean, the Yangtze is a place that is easily accessible that you can easily come across. In fact, there is a side quest that you have to do inside of the Yangtze itself. And I just feel like that's too strong of a, you know, dialogue that Bethesda would add in to this character just to be talking about the Yangtze. But that's just my opinion on it. And once again, this is a very possible theory and is possibly what's actually going on here. Another theory behind this is that this could still be in the game and just activated in a certain way or through doing some certain easter egg steps or something like a giant easter egg that's been put in the game or something like that which would really be awesome like I think that would be freaking crazy in fact I did see one reddit post uh, where he talked about possibly you know something to do with the red buoys that are floating out in the ocean and uh, the fact that this could possibly still be an easter egg um, which is really good i suggest you guys check that out by the way um but once again that's just the theory behind this i mean is it possible i guess but likely probably not and the last two theories of course are one that it's just something that's been mentioned just to fuel the mythology of the world you know maybe something that's never going to be found or never ever going to be talked about again and number two that it's possibly going to be brought or maybe underwater creatures and underwater areas and stuff like that you know towards the DLC content which I think at this point is definitely a theory that's plausible it's something that definitely can't be thrown under the rug just yet and I think it's definitely a possibility for that as well something else that kind of points to me that you know underwater areas may be used a little bit more in the future is once again the quest line known as 20 leagues under the sea a quest that was seemingly cut from the game and was definitely going to be used in the underwater areas in fact, the quest itself, 20 Leagues Under the Sea, is either a play or a reference uh, to the movie and book known as 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And basically, uh, the main point of the movie or the book is to basically hunt down and kill a giant sea monster. And keeping that in mind that this quest is referenced to that, um, you would think that this quest would possibly have something to do with hunting down and killing a sea monster. In fact, in the animation, you can actually see what seems to be a mutated dolphin, uh, which is quite interesting there. And what also backs this up as well is the fact that in the game files of Fallout 4, there is a hidden harpoon gun that was actually found. And through several different methods and ways, people were actually able to spawn this into the game. Now, although the weapon isn't entirely finished because once again it was seemingly cut from the game it did come with its own underwater animation and own ammo type as well that came along with this which once again suggests that this was supposed to be used in the underwater areas and it would seem that this gun may have gone well or may have been used within the quest 20 leagues under the sea where you know once again referencing the book there you're supposed to hunt down some sort of underwater monster now the main question is is could this possibly be used for future dlc content you know the fact that it's cut content doesn't completely throw out the fact that this could be used for dlc content maybe it's what bethesda have planned in the first place you know remove it from the game for now and i bring it in to dlc content later i think it's once again a very plausible theory and something that could definitely happen and something bethesda could definitely play on something else i do want to quickly mention is that the giant blue gall whale or peg could also have possibly been a part of this quest the fact that once again you know referencing 20 leagues under the sea or 20,000 leagues under the sea there um the fact that you have to hunt down some giant sea monster maybe the giant blue gall whale was a part of the quest where you have to hunt it down and uh, you know go ahead and kill it and stuff like that just another theory i actually do want to throw out there for you guys but all this coming together it just seems like you know it would definitely have been an awesome quest on it would have definitely been something that a lot of people would have enjoyed and you know the harpoon gun would have been a weapon that you know if there was actually creatures down in the water that a lot of people would have enjoyed coming down there and hunting and stuff like that and hopefully it's something that Bethesda does play on in the future and that hopefully reduces some awesome stuff happening with these underwater areas but anyway that pretty much wraps it up for this video today once again just wanted to kind of throw out a couple of theories out there for you guys you know kind of compile uh, a few bits of information and just in general talk about it because I really enjoy making these types of videos for you guys and i'm also thinking about making uh, some story based videos let me know if this is something that you guys do want to see by the way uh, by leaving a like it down below but story based videos based around certain quest lines in the game i did actually mention that i'm going to be doing a top five side quests that should hopefully be out sometime over this weekend but separate to that i'm thinking about making story based videos where i go a lot in depth and give you guys a lot of info uh, based around certain quests in the game and side quests go really in depth with the background story behind it and stuff like that and then let me know if that is something that you want to see once again 
by leaving a like down below. But anyway, as always, hope you did enjoy this video today. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new around, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.